Welcome back Filmholics, my name is Kyle Kenrick and in this channel you'll find anything and everything filmmaking. Today we're gonna go ahead and check out though my biggest four mistakes when I started out on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started there. Now mistake number one I made was I didn't respect a set schedule. What that really means is you gotta think about it this way. Your YouTube channel or show or whatever you're producing on, uh, content wise on this platform has to be someone's favorite TV show. When you were a kid you had a favorite TV show, cartoon that you'd always come home to and you know what time that would come up and you'd always tune into that. You gotta make your content that show. Basically, if you have a set schedule, then people know when you are gonna upload, they're gonna come in and tune in every time so your subscribers knows what to expect. Mistake number two I made was the fact that I didn't niche up. I did this intentionally just to get used to being on camera all the time, just to get used to editing and just YouTube in general. But once you actually want to start creating content and once you find out what you're good at, I suggest niching up. And what that really means is you gotta pick a set thing. What if you like travel vlogs? What if you like to do like content reviewing? Like for example, what I did recently with uh, small tripods like these. So think about it this way. Imagine your favorite horror TV show or if you like those things like um, American Horror Story. What if that show just randomly started to do cooking instead of horror, like just cooking? That'd be weird, right? Think about your show or your content as that type of thing. To be more professional, you got to maintain the tone. Tone is basically what they use in film to maintain the feeling of a film. For example, in, again, American Horror Story, they keep that creep factor up there. And what that does is it gives your audience something to expect every time. So if you did like uh, content reviewing and then suddenly you did makeup, out of nowhere that they're gonna be weirded out they're not gonna tune in they don't know what your channel's about and think of all the people you subscribe to they're usually maintaining that content as that basis my one of my favorite youtubers cody blue i talk about him a lot he always maintains the sony cameras and i love that about what he does so maintain your content Mistake number three, and this one's a big one in my opinion, something that I personally didn't realize in the beginning and I didn't take it seriously, but that's due to being young. And basically is I didn't take it as a job. YouTube, it is a job. You will have a second job if you already have a basic job to pay for the bills, pay for rent and whatnot. Now, once you start YouTube, you gotta realize it is a second job. You gotta make those deadlines. You gotta make those those just moments in time where you just can't sleep enough because you have to create some content. You have to do B-roll, you have to uh, research, you have to always be in your audience so that they you, you maintain that whole interaction with them. I don't know why I was making a level um, thing. Basically in this moment, you gotta, you gotta commit. You gotta commit to this because it is not easy. It's not easy gonna be like oh you start uploading and you're gonna hit like a hundred K subscribers it's just gonna take some time and mistake number four speaking about like committing in general is just don't be nervous about uploading your content as you've probably seen in several other videos basically like this we've all said this because it's true your first few videos are going to be your worst I have a lot of really bad videos and you can look through them and I will be embarrassed. But in the same time, I'm glad I, I've gotten through that and I'm still going through that right now. And just upload because if you don't start and if you don't try to be comfortable, if you don't slowly get to where you want to be on YouTube, you're never going to learn immediately. It's always going to be some work. Being on camera is hard. For example, you lose so much, so much energy on camera. They say you gain 10 pounds on camera, but you also lose 10%, no, 10 times the amount of energy. So what I like to personally do is I, I drink some of these 30 minutes before I start actually filming myself because what that does is it creates energy and caffeine takes 30 minutes to actually get into your body, your body. In basic bullet points, don't be nervous, don't question yourself, and challenge yourself, and lastly, just upload. 
It's gonna, it's gonna look embarrassing. You're gonna hate editing your own face. You're gonna hate your first few videos, but just upload. And those were the biggest mistakes I made when I first started my channel. And I still honestly have a long way to go. I'm not perfect. I'm not great at this just yet, but I'm slowly getting there in my own pace. So I'm looking towards the future and hopefully in the next few years of content creating, I get to make another one of these like, talking about the mistakes I made right now, <laughs> which is going to be really entertaining and really fun. So this last bit is going to be for me. Future Kyle, tell me what I'm doing wrong <laughs> and hopefully we get to where you want to be. But that's it. So if you guys have any video suggestions or anything you guys want me to review, put them down below. Any questions about filmmaking as well, I will answer as soon as possible because I have always had my phone with me and I always try to comment as soon as possible, even while I'm working on my other job. And also don't forget to like and subscribe at the links I showed in the beginning and ending of the video. And also all the gear I use to make this video right now is gonna be linked down below. If you guys buy it from there, I try to find the lowest prices, but if you find lower prices, go ahead and buy it from those places instead. But again, if you do use those links, then it does help out the channel a lot and I get to make more videos with this. Yeah. So, chicka chicka. Also, of course, dream on.